Welcome to MIST. Let us discuss a very small topic that is volumes and capacities. Okay, lung volumes and capacities. Okay, okay. As we do inspiration and expiration, just see <coughs> inspiration, expiration, inspiration, expiration. Deep inspiration, deep expiration. This is again normal tidal. Okay. <clears throat> what is this volume known as? What is this volume known as? This one. Tidal volume. Okay. What is this volume known as? Inspiratory reserve volume. Okay. What is this volume known as? Expiratory reserve volume. And what is this volume known as? Which is still present in lung and which can never be expired. What is this known as? Residual volume. So this is tidal volume. This is inspiratory reserve volume. This is expiratory reserve volume, ERV and this is residual volume, four volumes, tidal volume, this one from here to here, normal in and normal out, above that how much you can inspire, inspiratory reserve volume and below that how much you can expire, over and above the normal tidal volume, expiratory reserve volume and the volume which is still present and can never be expired, that is the residual volume, four volumes. And then we have <coughs> four capacities. What is this? This is vital capacity. Vital, cap uh, sorry, this is total lung capacity. Okay, what is this? Vital capacity. Vital capacity. What is this? This is functional residual capacity, okay, from here up to this value, functional residual capacity, expiratory reserve volume plus residual volume, FRC. And what is this? Tidal volume plus inspiratory reserve volume. This is inspiratory capacity, okay. So this is total lung capacity. This plus this plus this plus this, plus this huh? total lung capacity. What is this? This plus this plus this. What is this? Vital capacity. <coughs> Vital capacity. What is this? Bottom two. This plus this. What is this? Functional residual capacity. <coughs> FRC. And what is this? This plus this. Tidal volume plus expiratory reserve volume. What is this? This is inspiratory capacity. I see. Okay, FRC, inspiratory capacity. This is vital capacity, this is total lung capacity. Four volumes and four capacities. Volume is individual volume and capacity is permutation and combination. Value, value, tidal volume, 500 ml. Inspiratory reserve volume, 3000 ml. Expiratory reserve volume, 1100 ml. Residual volume, 1200 ml. 3000, 500, 1100, 1200. And accordingly, you can calculate the capacities also. Don't go for the value. There may be so much variation in terms of height, weight, age, sex, race. Okay, Indian values may be 25% less. Females may be 25% less. So don't go for the value, just for your rough idea. Is okay? Tidal volume is 500 ml. This is the tidal volume, normal in and out. 500 ml into respiratory rate, 12 breaths per minute. 500 ml per breath, 12 breaths per minute. So this will become 
six liters per minute. Six liters per minute. <clears throat> what is this known as? This is known as minute ventilation. <clears throat> minute ventilation. This parameter will be known as minute ventilation. In one minute, minute ventilation. In one minute, how much air I have taken inside? Six liters per minute. 500 ml per breath. 500 ml per breath, 12 breaths per minute. Six liters per minute, this is minute ventilation. In one minute, six liters I have taken inside. Out of this 500 ml, 150 ml will be the dead space. It will remain in the dead space. 150 ml. 350 ml will actually reach up to the level of alveolus. 150 plus 350. This is okay. So 350 into 12. 350 into 12 this will become 4.2 liters per minute okay 4.2 liters per minute 350 into 12 what is this known as alveolar ventilation this is not minute ventilation this is known as alveolar ventilation This is known as alveolar ventilation. This is this is minute ventilation. In one minute, how much? Six liters per minute. And what is this? 4.2 liters per minute. What is this? This is alveolar ventilation. Okay, you have to subtract that dead space ventilation. This is clear. So you are interested in six liters per minute of minute ventilation, or you are interested in 4.2 liters per minute of alveolar ventilation. I am actually interested in alveolar ventilation. I am not interested in this value. This is something in which I am interested. This is my total salary. This is my net salary. 30% TDS cut. So after deducting exactly the 30% TDS, this is my net salary, which is going up to that area where gas exchange take place. Okay. So sometimes they frame question that this is tidal volume, this is dead space, how much and this is respiratory rate. So how much is alveolar ventilation? So I think such type of calculation you can do. Is okay. 150 into 12. This may be 1.8 liters per day. Uh, sorry, per minute. This is waste. This is the dead space ventilation, 1.8 liters per minute. This is dead space ventilation which is useless. This is something which will reach up to the level of alveolus. This is okay. So I think you try to remember various volumes and capacities. Further details may, uh, we may discuss in some other video, but this is the basic about the volumes and capacities. Thank you very much.